Hi, I'm Scott Pennington, Director of Original Lanagard Products. Today I'd like to introduce you to a product that's almost unlimited in its capabilities. A centuries old technique using lanolin oil combined with today's technology has helped produce Original Lanagard, an environmentally friendly, non-toxic, multi-purpose product. So how does this miracle product work? Well, it's all down to wool grease, which is the natural oil that helps make wool water repellent, and that protects sheep against the harsh weather. The grease is secreted and continuously collected on the sheep's skin. It was the ancient Greeks who first realised the potential for this natural emollient. They used it as a preservative, protectant and lubricant in a range of ways from use in ointments, clothing, shelters and on spears. However, it wasn't until the late 19th century that a way was devised to refine lanolin. Now it's obtained during a three-stage process known as scouring. The lanolin is separated by a solvent extraction in a process similar to how clothes are dry cleaned. Once the solvent has been removed, along with any dirt and debris, you are left with a sticky substance, a bit like petroleum jelly. But just how valuable is it? Well, mechanic Mike Pierce sees its true potential. This product you can use on just about everything. It's not a water dispersant agent like WD-40, but it treats metal to uh, stop the water impregnating it, stop rust getting in, or if you've got a really rusty object, if you drop it in lanolin, pull it out again, it'll start working within, within hours. However, it's Mike's pet project sprucing up an old 1946 Ford Coupe that's got him sold on using lanolin, and in particular, original Lanagard. That's as it came, pretty much rusty state, and then we uh, took it down, sandblasted it, brought it back here straight from the sandblasters, and then uh, coated it liberally with lanolin. It's been like that um, approximately 18 months. It's been fairly much in the weather, um, and we're only one street back from the bay, so salt water's pretty prevalent around here, and uh, it says it's stayed. We use it when we weld, it's an anti-spatter. You can paint over the top of it, so after doing some work on the vehicle, we can, uh, instead of just undercoating it and having to treat it all again, just walk away from it, come back to it, two days, two weeks, two months later, and it's still exactly as you left it. It hasn't rusted and there's no surface rust, so it's brilliant. Lanolin's use in factories and plants around the country with cranes and heavy lifting equipment has removed the need for dozens of different products, as well as reducing wear and tear, saving manufacturers thousands of dollars by extending the life of their machinery. It, we first started using the product, obviously, in, in lift chains and our container lifting uh, equipment, and. Uh, with great success, we found that um, um, the wear component dropped um, and obviously the lubricant kicked in and it, uh, it helped us greatly. So Performance? Well basically uh, we've been able to uh, extend our chain maintenance um, from a weekly lubrication to a monthly lubrication and uh, you know we've been doing that now for the past 12 months with great success. As you can see um, with the, uh, so many moving parts in these chains, you really need a lubricant that will penetrate in and, and um, provide the links and the, uh, and the pins as much lubrication as possible because uh, we're looking at thousands of dollars worth of chains. So uh, any cost savings due to that is a big bonus to the company. Corrosion is a major factor in fertiliser plants and to combat this, companies have found themselves using unsafe and harmful products. But that's changing. One Brisbane fertiliser factory has run a trial where just one coat of lanolin replaced a three coat treatment that took nearly 10 days. As you can appreciate, um, every hour and minute of the day is, is crucial to Inside Tech. So, yeah, if we can, if we can look at reducing our, our turn, turnaround time on the jobs, um, again, that's certainly an advantage to Inside Tech. But what impressed the company was that the product was safer to handle than many of the alternatives. The fitters. Uh, and tradesmen working in the, in the conditions all day, uh, they've found it, found it well to use. Um, you know, you can apply it in the morning, it's still there in the afternoon. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'd rather see a, a squirt of lanolin going in their toolbox than, than in the past, all the, all the nasties going up into the air and into their lungs and basically all over our floor and, and eventually uh, into the drains. So, um, my, my technicians are telling me that they haven't found a better product. Heavy machinery distributor Hastings Daring was after a more efficient and environmentally friendly protective coating for the machinery it dispatches throughout the Pacific. 
This grader, for instance, is on its way to the Lahir gold mine in Papua New Guinea. It's been given a coat of lanolin instead of a silicon treatment because this grader is travelling as deck cargo. The use of environmentally harmful products used in the mining industry is under review. But you know, the product's got to work, even if it's environmentally friendly, it's still got to work, but these type of products have proven themselves uh, underground and above ground. In central Queensland, heavy-duty liquid lanolin was used by contractors working on the $106 million project to raise the Awonga Dam by 10 metres. We're working in a dam and we're very conscious of uh, making sure what we leave behind, it's in the same condition that we arrived. Uh, we look for products that uh, leave a positive impact and this product certainly helps us uh, achieve that goal. Uh, the, we're currently using it on our formwork it is used to seal the formwork and to help us with our stripping of the, uh, the concrete works. It's a lot better on, on the ply. It, it seems to make it last a hell of a lot longer because that is nine pores old, that, that ply. And like I said, it, uh, you know, it's nearly as good as when we first started. So for us, you get more uses out of the ply and it, and it doesn't get waterlogged because we're using a high volume of water to green cut. Yes. And then the, the uh, concrete gets cured for seven days with water on it. This is constantly covered in water and, like I said, it doesn't swell. So we, we put, it on, put it on the back of the shutter as well to stop the timber swelling as well. Yeah. And it seems to work out just fine. So in that respect, it's the best stuff we've used so far. And what ends up downstream in the nearby waterways and recreational areas is just as important for the company Gladstone's Botanic Gardens. The gardens were well planned and I think that's probably the big success with them. Uh, there's, there's clear wheelchair access right through the gardens which, which make it very accessible to everyone. There's a lot of substantial timber. Some of these timbers you can see here are 12 by 3 spotted gum that you, you just simply wouldn't see anymore. Even if you could afford it, it's not really available, that sort of timber. So it's to the stage there now where the timber's about 12 to 13 years old and uh, it's fairly crucial that we start preserving it. And obviously in an environment like this, anything that's uh, even slightly toxic to the waterways or the plants could be quite a problem. So, so we were quite impressed with the landland when it came along to, to see it used. It's not surprising that in the marine industry, boaties are pretty stuck on the stuff given the highly corrosive nature of their environment. Companies like this high-speed passenger service in Queensland quite literally spray the lanolin all over the boat. See there where the uh, lanolin's actually building up over time. A real slippery surface on it. Helps the boat go through the water a lot more efficient. So far we've found it saved us about 50 litres a day on fuel just from changing to the lanolin. You get the same life out of it as any fowl, so a much greater improvement. You tend to have to put more coats of it on though, but you know, more treatments compared to conventional anti-fouling? No, we've, we've found that we use the same amount of uh, lanolin as we did with the anti-foul. So with, no, with none of the environmental downsides though? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's great for the, for the bay and the marine park. So 50 litres of fuel saving a day over you know, over 12 months, it's quite a saving, isn't it? Quite a substantial saving, yeah, especially when you times that by four boats as well. So now you have seen how Lanagard products can save you time, save you money and save the environment.